Verbal fireworks broke out in a congressional hearing last night. Dallas Representative Jasmine Crockett and Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene's argument opened a bigger conversation about the dysfunction in Congress. Fox 4 Stephen Dial spoke with Crockett about the incident and joins us live with more. Stephen. The verbal sparring of words just shows you just where we are in Congress right now. This is how things are. I spoke to Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett, who represents part of Dallas, and she says she doesn't regret anything and she will continue to defend herself. Do you know what we're here for? You know we're here about uh, just AG. To, uh, I don't think you know what you're here for. Well, you the one talking about. I guess I, I think your fake eyelashes are messing up. No, with ain't me. nothing. Hey, hold on, hold on. Listen. <laughs> Order, Mr. Chairman, That's beneath even you order? Order? This was the opening salvo in Thursday night's U.S. House Oversight Committee. Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene commented on Dallas Congresswoman Jasmine Crockett's appearance. The Republican committee chair ruled that Greene's comments did not violate the rules, so Crockett asked him to clarify and took a shot at Greene. If someone on this committee then starts talking about somebody's bleach blonde, bad built butch body, that would not be engaging in personalities, correct? A uh, uh, what now? You know, a lot of people on the Republican side and the Democratic side just simply don't like each other. It's one thing to disagree with each other, but they personally have contempt for each other. The purpose of the meeting was to hold a vote of contempt for the attorney general, which eventually happened, but not before things spiraled out of control. I'm trying to get okay. clarification. Look at calm down. Calm no, down. No, 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 because this I is what y'all do. So I'm trying hey, to get Ms. clarification. Ms. Crockett, you're not recognized. Like, Ms. Crockett. I can't hear you with your yelling. You don't want calm me to down. Be, no. Can you please calm do you regret anything about last night? I don't. I think that it is um, wild for someone to say, I will represent you. And for me, that means representing almost a million people. And I will fight for you and fight to make your life better. And then when I'm attacked, I am unable to fight for myself. SMU political scientist Matthew Wilson said this speaks to the larger issue of a dysfunctional Congress. It's one reason older members have decided to retire. I mean, a lot of people who have served in Congress for decades say, look, I remember when it wasn't like this. I remember when there was a decent amount of cordiality between Democrats and Republicans, even if they disagreed on policy. Crockett said it's a sentiment her predecessor, the late Eddie Bernice Johnson, told her before she retired. You're talking about somebody that had entered Congress 30 years before me, and she felt like this was different in the sense that this is worse. That's a problem, and it tells you where we are in this country. So Democrats tried to basically uh, get Marjorie Taylor Greene removed from the hearing. It did not happen. Again, the Republicans passed that resolution. Crockett says she even questions the resolution involving the attorney general because she says something the Judiciary Committee already did and didn't see the need for the Oversight Committee to do it as well.